Hey, I'm Ryan Johnson. Going to be talking about the Shrike a little bit today. The scabbard. So the scabbard is kydex. It's eighth inch thick. Uh, that way we know we're not poking through or anything. Um, we make everything ambidextrous. So uh, it's mirror image of each other. So you can run all of your hardware on either side. You got multiple lashing points here with the eyelets. Um, this is a biothane strap. It's polyester um, strap that has been impregnated with rubber. Uh, it doesn't shrink or grow or anything like that when it gets wet. And that's removable. So this is a secondary retention, right? When I want to pull this out of the scabbard, I want to pull down with a little bit of rotation. So I want the beard to come out first and the spike to come out last. So I undo the strap and this is a pull the dot strap. It's a directional strap. So you see this little eyelet here, you grab it and pull down. When I put it back on, I rock the snap in place. That keeps it from, if this gets snagged, it won't unbuckle it. That's the whole reason of using a directional snap. So when I'm pulling this out, I wanna have something to grab onto. In this case, I'm just gonna use the strap. But if you have this connected with clips or with a tech lock or with molly or a weapon sling, that gives you the resistance you need. Um, but in this case, I'm just gonna use a strap. So I've got the, the beard out first and that's how it comes out. When I'm ready to put it back in, it's the opposite. I put the, the blade in first and then snap in the spike. You don't technically need this strap. Um, the strap we initially started putting in because of people who were needed something that was jumpable. And those rules change pretty frequently uh, depending on what, uh, what they're coming out of. So for the average Joe six pack, strap is very optional.